hello guys thank you very much for hopping in here to watch my video this is randy from ranch graphics welcome back to my after effects tutorial channel today i'm gonna be showing you how to create a shattered text title animation in after effects so without any further ado i'm gonna be showing you what we are gonna be creating today Let me start by importing all the elements that I'm gonna be using in this project. Go to import file, go to download where my folder is, shutter and import this asset folder and then go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it text1. 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 3 seconds duration click ok grab your text tool and type broken I'm using the high definition font at 150 pixels and bold if you can see this align tool here you just go to windows and check the align tool just make the text center horizontally and center vertically and go to your image folder drop down this polygon texture on your timeline i'll just move this polygon on the top of the broken text if you can see the track mat in here just toggle the switches in here just change this to luma mat and then go to composition create a new composition i will name it shutter map still 1920 by 1080p click ok go to my image folder and drop down this glass texture go to transform and fit to comp go to composition create a new composition and i will name it shattered 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 3 seconds duration i will click ok and i will drop down this shutter map on my timeline and also the text one I'll just bring this shutter map down to my text one and I will close this folder for now and also the assets and then I will enable this shutter map and highlight the text one go to effects and preset simulation I want to change the view from wireframe to rendered open the shape and change this pattern from bricks to custom and the custom shutter map i will change it to shutter map and i will also change the value of the extrusion to zero open the force one and make a keyframe on the position make sure that your player is at the beginning of your timeline probably change this to negative 86 move forward your playhead to about 1 second and 15 frames and move this to about here and then open the physics change the randomness to 0.4 and the viscosity change it to 0.3 close it and go to effects and go to generate add CC light sweep. I want the width to be 122 and the intensity is 16. And then move this point in here. I will first move back my playhead so that I can see the text. So now go to effects and preset again, stylize, and we will add glow. I want the glow threshold to be just 100%. I will just duplicate this glow. I will go back to the light sweep and probably I will just move this probably here. Okay. So let's try to play it. Now 
nice so now i will close this one and go back to project panel create a folder and i will name it scene one I will highlight these compositions and put it on the scene 1 folder. I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2. I will open the scene 1 folder, highlight all the compositions and duplicate it. And I will move the duplicated compositions on the scene 2 folder. And then double click to open it up and I will close the scene 1 folder. Also this text 1 shadow map and shadow. I will just open this text too and I will change the text here double click my mouse yet survive and I will highlight this text change this yet font size 72 again I will highlight this one and centered open the shadow 3 highlight this text too Press my keyboard out and hold it and open the scene 3 folder. Highlight this text 3 and I will change the text 2 to text 3. So now let's again try to play it. Press U on my keyboard and I will highlight these keyframes. Press F9 to easy it. I will also open the shadow 2, double click my mouse to open it up, press U on my keyboard and highlight these two keyframes and press my keyboard F9 to easy Z and I will also open the scene 1 folder, double click this shutter and I will click U on my keyboard, highlight these keyframes and press F9 to easy Z. I will close these folders, create a new composition new composition and I will name it main nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and I will change this one to probably ten seconds and I will click OK. I will open this folder, drag down on my timeline the shattered and the shattered two. I will drag it down to my timeline and also the shattered 3 and move the shadow 2 and shadow 3 forward make sure that it's not overlapping so now we will play this one I want to go back to shattered and open the effects control i will go to physics open it up i just want to change this gravity to zero and also the shutter too i will open it up close the glow light sweep and then open the physics i will change this gravity to zero open the shutter three and open the shutter effect go to physics and change this gravity to zero close it again go to main and let's see so this is what I want I want a zero gravity So now guys I will show you how I synchronize my text when they appear at the same time with the sound effects that I made. This is how I synchronize my text and my sound effects. As you can see here I put my text just flush on the highest waveform that I have meaning that the impact of the sound effects is here and I split some of the layers here because if I don't it will overlap. Look at that. I have to split it so it won't overlap so this is how I synchronize my text to my sound effects 
so our tutorial for today guys is done i hope you learned something on it and thank you very much for subscribing and for those new in this channel press the notification bell and subscribe make a comment like and even share if you want to my thought for today is that sometimes our will are triggered by our passion thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless